Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's uh, really sunny here. The wind has quit blowing. It's calm uh, for the most part here, but it is really chilly. And so today I'm trying to get some chores done around here. Um, next week we'll be having family in for Thanksgiving. And so uh, I've got to make sure that I've got all of my... Uh, I's dotted and T's crossed, so to speak, on on having the house clean and, and uh, uh, Blade and Cheyenne are going to be bringing baby Howie uh, home from the hospital very soon, possibly today. I don't know that I'll get to see him today, but I'm hoping for that. So I'm bringing you a recipe here. Uh, we're all getting ready for the holiday season, and that usually means... Uh, uh, church parties and family get-togethers and and all kinds of things for us to begin to celebrate this season of the year and uh, people are celebrating being able to get back together and really embracing one another and this is a recipe that I'm bringing to you that is super super simple but really good I usually take it to church dinners uh, fellowship dinners or uh, well yeah um, and it would be considered an appetizer because it's a dip. However, you could also use this as a side dish with just a little bit of tweaking. So I'm going to get the camera turned around so that you can see this is a seven layer dip. And I'll explain to you uh, all about it in just a minute. When you see me put it together, you'll see that it's not really seven layers. And I'll tell you why. Okay, now this recipe is for a seven layer dip made with refried beans. And what you see here is a smaller pan than what I usually make for this recipe. But since it's just me at home right now, I'm going to make a small pan. And um, so I'm going to tell you how I make it, show you how I make it. Uh, just know that the amount of ingredients that I'm putting in it here on the video is really in the recipe that I put down below is the actual recipe and so don't don't go by the amounts that I'm doing here unless you just want to make a small batch like this normally like I said it's a 9 by 13 but this is a small pan and so what I have in here is one can of refried beans now you can use your honed canned beans and make homemade refried beans and this would be delicious but I'm trying to just to show you uh, with things that you might have on your shelf uh, if you didn't have home canned beans. So a, one can of refried beans for a small pan or two cans of refried beans for a 9 by 13. And you can see here that it makes a, this is, I suppose if you were thinking in terms of pie, this would be your crust layer or your bottom layer okay and you need let me see how big that can is it is a a 16 ounce can of beans and you do not have to buy name brand store brand will work just fine okay now the second layer <laughs> remember I told you that this is a seven layer dip but for me for Josie, it's a five layer dip because your next layer is guacamole and I don't like guacamole. So I leave the guacamole totally out of this, but it does not hurt. Um, it doesn't hurt it at all. It, you just have less layers. So second layer, guacamole. Pretend I put it on there. There you go. There's your guacamole layer. Okay, now the third, let me set this aside for just a second. Your third ingredient is eight ounces for the small, eight ounces of sour cream for the bit for the nine by thirteen, it would be sixteen ounces. And then this is taco seasoning. Now this is half of an envelope of taco seasoning, or um, it uh, use your home made taco seasoning and so if you were making 9 by 13 it would be a whole envelope but you know what you can leave the taco seasoning totally out if you just want sour cream or you can you don't even have to put I'm not even going to put all of mine because uh, I don't want it uh, super super um, salty 
So I want to taste it before I decide to put any more in it. And I want to actually see, uh, I may actually like what it ends up looking like. And so this part right here is another option. You can put the taco seasoning in or you can leave the taco seasoning out. It doesn't matter. You could also, if you wanted a little bit thinner, uh, you could put um, salsa in it and make it a little bit thinner. That would change the flavor up just a little bit. And that might be really, really, really a delicious thing. Okay, so when you get that mixed in uh, to there, you're just simply going to put this on top of the guacamole layer. Get that in there. Put that aside. And you're just going to layer it in there. So far, your beans, guacamole, and your sour cream. Whether you leave it plain or you season it with taco seasoning or salsa or maybe you have a different, uh, maybe you wanted it a little spicier or you want to try something different. This, this recipe is versatile and um, you can change it up for your family's taste. Okay, the next layer, next several layers are your vegetable layers. Now, this is fresh vegetable layers. The original recipe that I had were was chopped tomatoes, chopped green onions, and diced black olives. When I take it to church, I leave, I do put the black olives on there because it's really pretty when you put the vegetables on there. And I'll show you here. You're just simply, let's see if you can, yeah, you can see that. I simply have uh, diced or chopped tomatoes and, and uh, chopped green onions. You could even put uh, jalapenos on here if you wanted a hotter pepper. It, like I said, this is really, really versatile. And so you're just going to, um, it would be like you were making uh, tacos and you wanted to put your own personal taco seasonings on the top of it. You can do that with, with this. And so you sprinkle your... Uh, tomatoes on there and your uh, for me I'm putting tomatoes and onions so I've got my tomatoes you can put less tomatoes you can leave the tomatoes out that's up to you and then my green onions and you can see it makes really pretty festive and you can imagine the black olives, that they look pretty on there, too. I just don't like olives, green or black. You know, I keep telling you guys all the things I don't like, and it makes me sound really picky. Uh -huh. And most things I like, but there are some things, guacamole and black olives being one of them, two of them. Okay, so the last layer that I put on there, now so far this is one, two, three, four layers. This would be my fifth layer. Seven layers if you're going to put your guacamole and your black olives. I hope I haven't confused anybody. Um, but I just wanted to show you how versatile this dip really is. So the next layer is your shredded cheese that you're going to put on the top to finish it off. Now you can put, this is a Mexican Fiesta Blend cheese. Um, you can use... Um, <coughs> pardon me you can use <coughs> pardon me again you can use pepper jack you can use monterey jack you could use uh, any cheese that you want it's up to you so you're just gonna um, top it a little bit of garnish on there and it's ready to go you have a nice festive Dip. There you go. 
a nice dip to serve. You could put this on the table next uh, Thursday on Thanksgiving um, when everybody is snacking around before dinner is ready. Uh, add, uh, put a little bowl of chips out and let them have a little bit of chip and, chips and dip. Now, I also like this as a side with tacos or enchiladas or anything when I'm having several different items like having a Mexican dinner and you could leave it cold like this and they could eat it with their chips or before you put it all together your um, you could have your refried beans hot and so this would it would almost be like just a really super loaded uh, refried beans kind of like how you would do loaded baked potato you would have all the stuff on top of it you could do the same thing with this and make it a loaded refried beans nice simple recipe guys seven layer dip in my case five layer dip but make it your own add your own ingredients to it once you put your base ingredients on there you can change up the toppings to however you and your family likes your uh, to top your tacos or, or your refried beans. You can change up the flavoring of the sour cream or leave it plain. And um, I think you'll find that you enjoy this a whole lot and um, it makes a really festive dip or side dish for your holiday tables. Now, I can't say that it'll go along with turkey, but maybe your family has Mexican food or maybe you have a bunch of parties coming up between now and Christmas. So. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, this is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. And until next time, I hope you enjoy. We're gone.